So today we're going to be talking about DNA transfer, which is the transfer of DNA between cells. And this happens in prokaryotes, viruses, and eukaryotes, but we're going to be focusing mainly on the prokaryotic branch today. So I'm going to be talking about transduction, which is the transfer of DNA between bacteria via a bacteriophage, aka a bacteria virus. And so basically when most people hear this, they tend to want to think that, of course, you start off with a bacteria, and you have another bacteria, which is going to get the DNA, and somewhere along the lines, a virus is incorporated and somehow transfers DNA. And that will give you a bacteria with both genes, right? Well, I guess you're right, sure, but there's a lot more to it than just that. Uh, so, what do you mean, some people may ask, and, well, let's start off with the bacteria. So, the bacteria just happens to be floating around a virus, and the virus attaches itself to the bacteria and injects its genetic payload. It can be DNA or RNA, depending on the virus, and you'll learn about this in the lysogenic and lytic cycle, and this genetic material is then incorporated into the cell, and by the, because of this incorporation, the cell be begins to make uh, other viruses and the viruses get released and they're all similar to the original virus but some may differ like this one right here this one has the genes that were originally from the original bacteria not the viral DNA and this virus still acts like a normal virus attaching to another bacteria injecting its payload and uh, after this DNA gets incorporated you end up with a bacteria with both genes and that is basically what you end up with transduction. So uh, let's recap this. And so you start off with a normal bacteria, and a virus attaches to this bacteria, injecting its genetic payload. And after incorporation, it makes more viruses, and some of these viruses aren't normal and contain bacterial DNA. And these act like normal viruses, attaching to other bacteria. And after attaching to bacteria, it injects its DNA and creates a bacteria with both pairs of genes, or just DNA from both bacteria. And that's basically, uh, yeah, that's transduction in a nutshell. form of DNA transfer is transformation, which is the genetic alteration of a cell resulting from the uptake or incorporation of foreign DNA into its own. The DNA that is taken up is free-floating and can be plasmids or DNA that was released from a cell that had recently died. So before we go into anything, let's talk about where the idea of transformation first started. It was demonstrated in 1928 by a British bacteriologist named Frederick Griffith. In his experiment, he discovered that a harmless strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae could be made virulent after being exposed to heat-killed virulent strains. Griffith hypothesized that some transforming principle from the heat-killed strain was responsible for making the harmless strain virulent. The transforming strain was identified as DNA by Avery, McLeod, and McCarthy. These scientists isolated the DNA and used only the DNA to transform the bacteria. So now let's go through an example. So you got to start with a bacteria, add a plasmid or other form of DNA, and it is incorporated now to be plasmid with its DNA. So now that this bacteria has been incorporated with its plasmid, in this case it gives it an antibiotic resistance. So if you added antibiotics, the cell, instead of dying, would stay healthy, living, and be able to reproduce to create more offspring that have this antibiotic resistance. Today we'll be talking about bacterial conjugation, which is very unique in the ways of prokaryotic DNA transfer as it requires direct contact between two bacterial cells. Conjugation is a bacterial equivalent of sexual reproduction in eukaryotic organisms. In conjugation, a plasmid is one of the cells called the F factor, where the F stands for fertility, it creates two bacterial cell types, F plus with the factor and F minus without the factor. The F plus cell is also known as the donor cell, while the F minus cell is called the recipient cell. 
bacterial species are types are interchangeable and can conjugate with different species. However, there must always be one donor F plus cell and one recipient F minus, or conjugation will not occur. One cell must not have a plasmid F factor, so it can conjugate with the donor. A sort of bridge between the two bacterial cells is formed, which is called a pilus. At the same time as the formation of the pilus, a protein assembly called a relaxosome, which is shown in yellow, opens up the F factor at the origin of transfer in the donor cell. The protein assembly relaxosome splits off into multiple proteins called relaxase, which bonds to the end of the origin of transfer F factor DNA that is being unwinded and forms a relaxase tDNA complex. The relaxase guides the unwinded tDNA to a coupling factor protein, which is shown in orange, and is threaded through the exporter region of the pilus, which is shown in green. Both of the bacterial cells now have a single-stranded F-factor DNA, which is ready to be copied into double-stranded DNA by DNA polymerase. Copied. Again. Again. And again. DNA polymerase also copies the original F plus plasmid, and the pilus is released from the now conjugated bacterial cells, which results in two F plus donor cells that are single and ready to mingle. We learned about transduction, transformation, and conjugation in this video, which are all types of prokaryotic DNA transfer. But really, what is the significance of DNA transfer? We learned about how bacteria can be transformed by a DNA plasmid, but what's the point? Genetic variation caused by DNA transfer is what caused early seed organisms to undergo a process of evolution over many years. So, we come back to our question. What is the reason for DNA transfer? More specifically, what is the reason in human beings? Well, all the genetic variation that comes from transfer, more specifically from parents, is incredibly important. Every human being alive on this planet is a result of many generations of genetic variation, DNA passed down through heredity, and transferred all coming together to form you.